Hello there and welcome back. So last video we went over how to uh, color things in Fire Alpaca. Now we're going to learn how to make backgrounds. If you want more context on this series, go watch my video about coloring. Anyway, let's get to it. So making a background. Let's say you want to make a background. So first thing you want to do is you're going to want to sketch out your background a bit. For here I have some floating islands, you know, just, you know, just some bit of floating islands. After you make your floating island sketch, maybe you want to place down some characters on an upper layer. Right here, I got little shadow demons, so I don't know what they are. We got a little stick figure guy here. Okay, now that's done. Now, we're going to add separate parts to these little islands. So the first part we're going to have is the grass part. Um, The ways that you can make these is simple, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it without the liner. So it's just going to be color by itself. So let me show you. I'm just going to... Boom. See? And then if you happen to to, to be using anti-elasting, we can just remove these and we can fill it right in. See? That simple. So then after we do, so that's just going to be that one. You can, of course, do these other ones. But if you want to continue to make it a bit more detailed, we can add some, like, just some little spikes, you know, grass things. You know, this is supposed to be like a, grassy type thing and maybe maybe just like this part up a bit you know that that looks good enough Of course, you can make this look better than it does for me right now, but I'm trying my best. And as you can see, I'm not a very good drawer, but whatever. Okay, we got that done. Uh, if you want to continue to add more details to this, like shading, we're going to turn on our Protect Alpha on this layer. And then uh, let's make some lines for this. Let's, you know, do that. Lower it. And let's lower our brush size as well. I'm just going to add some little grass. Just some. Not too much. Add a bit of variety. Or maybe you could add something like, like that, but I prefer this. You know, it's just like, just some grass. Of course, like I said, you can always make this look better than I have it. I'm just being very lazy, so like I gotta get through this quick enough. Alright, that looks, that looks very good. Uh, and then after that, we might want to add some shading. So... Oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have done the grass stuff first. We're just gonna, I'll just erase most of the grass, but you know what to do with that. Uh, I shouldn't have done that first, but you get it. Anyway, let's add some shading, get our base color. Uh, Alright. Add that. Increase our brush size so that way we can fill the rest of it up. Yep. And then after that, you want to add your little grass parts. It's just I was an idiot and I didn't do this first. So ignore that. Anyway, it's time for the bottom part, which is like this ground part. So let me ground, get my ground layer and then we'll. Burn it.
Okay, so we got that. We just clear this up. Get rid of this. All right, so we got that. Now it's time for our shading. So that's good. Oh, we, we forgot a bit on the grass part there. So let's get back down here. And then we're going to add like our little lines for uh, just like little edges in the hill. So maybe make it a bit darker. See that? That looks good. And then after that, you just repeat the process for the rest of these things. However, a different way you can do it is that you can you can um, use the line art you have here or create new line art in order to make it. But I'll show that in a different video. Anyway, um, we're also going to be needing to do the background. So we're just going to add this back. And now it's time to work on the background. First thing is this little cloud here. So we're just going to grab a plain white color and then create the cloud. Color this in. We got a cloud. All right. Next thing, we're gonna add a little. We're just gonna add like a little um, like a little sky. So we're gonna remove this, and then we're gonna add our sky layer, and then we're just gonna um get a big brush. Another way you can do it is that you can just remove all the other layers, and then just use the paint bucket tool, but yeah, if you're too lazy to do that, you can just always do that. And then, if you want to, you can add a little moon. Uh, not to. Now, where to add a moon? Uh, let's grab just a little moon color. Just go here. Actually, wait, I could just, there. Mm. Just add some little moon crescents. So just some craters. Add some shading to that. I keep forgetting to only to add this first. All right. Uh, checked alpha on. Yeah, just remember about that. Just remember to add the shading first, and then add the little um crescent, like the little. You get what I mean. You get it. English.
happy. And when it's done, we're just gonna add like a bit of light by bringing this up, getting a bigger brush. Okay, make sure it's not too drastic. Not too drastic. Also, we need to add some shading to this cloud. So we're just going to go to the cloud layer, which is this one. Protect alpha. We're going to pick a color. This seems like a good one. And yeah, that's how to make backgrounds in a uh, fire alpaca. Obviously, this is not amazing. It could look better in some ways. But yeah, that, that's just like a basic way on how to make backgrounds. If you would like more stuff like this, please let me know. But yeah, that's all for now. Um, See you later, like, very soon. God, why am I having so much trouble with this? There, there, it's that simple, see? We just save our thing, and I'll see y'all later.